us. Welcome back to the final part of tonight's show. Quan Jay, you have a classic dish for us tonight. What do Absolutely. you make? Absolutely. So uh, it's uh, I suppose it's a take on <clears throat> a belief in green pepper and black bean sauce, but I'm doing pepper sauce. You can have that as well, you know. Okay. But it's quite nice. So um, I'm using fillet of beef here, so you can see it. I have um, I'm using John Stone dry age fillet. But like you can go to any butcher and get any dry age. If you're going to get fillet, you want to get a really good yeah. one. You know what I mean? Like because you spend that Treat money. Yourself. Exactly. Yeah. So I have um, I, I, I don't want actually quite uh, big slices. So see like that because I want them in the steaks instead of chunks. You know. So mm -hmm. you can do strips as well. But okay. uh, that's nice. So I have a I have a wok kind of heated up and I want to chop some onions in here. So you want the onions and garlic. So I'm just going to chop some onions. Just such a simple midweek dish that you can do. And it, it literally takes a couple of minutes. It won't take long at all. So okay. um, garlic. I have a fresh bow of garlic here. They're actually in season now at the moment. So. Yes. Yeah, to see them in the shop, they're so nice. So they are just so different. Yeah, you know? now's the time. Yeah. So uh, what you want to do is peel them as normal, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give it a bash. Yeah. And it's gonna take the the skin off it and just get in the, the fresh stuff. And it's so, it's so fresh, it's so, such a difference, you know? You should try it. It's, uh, it's such a difference between uh, the dry stuff and the fresh stuff. You can really kind of... And it's it, got a little bit of spiciness to it as well. So in, in your cooking, when it's this season, you're like lashing it into everything. Yeah, God, yeah. it's great. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna throw a bit of just cooking oil. So rapeseed oil or vegetable oil is fine. You can see it kind of at the wok starting smoking, that's ready. So you want to throw in your onions and your garlic. Give it a good stir. Without colour, you want to just give it a shake. And in the meantime, what I'm going to do is, whenever that's kind of ready, I'm just going to throw in the steak. So what I have uh, done with the steak is I put some um, sesame oil on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, and a small bit of um, soy sauce. You can do this in advance if you want as well to get the flavour in a bit more. Okay, get okay, the marinade in. Yep, so fire it in there. I'm going to have my steak kind of medium. Is that okay for you okay. guys? Yes, please. Yeah. And because it's a hot pan, it will sizzle and cook that little bit quicker. Exactly, yeah. So you, what you want to do is you want to spread your beef out so it's touching the surface, okay? So you get a nice fry. In the meantime, I'm going to use uh, maybe a red pepper and a green pepper, okay? So you can go tricolor if you want as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you want, it's yeah. grand. You just go with your preference. So I'm going to, I quite like peppers because it has a lovely sweetness to it, especially this time of year as well. Mm. And um, what I'm going to do is get the seeds. Don't, you, don't, you want to throw the seeds away because you can't really eat it. Yeah. And it's, um, they're not nice to eat either, so you want to just... No. Okay, so... So you're cutting it in chunks rather than... Yeah, because uh, I want a bit of texture in the dish itself when you're mm. biting it, you know? Yeah. So it's not all just uh, just small bites of onions and just beef. So Five a day. We need to do it. Mm -hmm. So here we go. I'm going to turn it small bit up. So I have it on. I have some boiled rice on the go here. So just normal boiled rice, so you can... Very fluffy. Okay. So what I'm going to prepare now is going to prepare the, the thickening agent, you know, so potato starch, as you know. Here we go. Yeah, Maren's looking at me. So, um, <laughs> I was waiting for it. I, I know, I know. I always wonder when it's going to make I it I want people to use up their stuff when they get it, you know. You're so. dead right. Um, so I turned the, the fillet there, so you can see that. So this time now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw in the black pepper, black cracked pepper. You can use, I have, I have cracked it already, so if you have a pepper mill, just uh, yeah. give it yeah. So, all right. Now, next. Sausage and cooking wine. So, sherry if you have it. White wine if you don't, okay? So, okay. it'll be fine as well. Just give it a, a little... A glug. Oh, this is this would be really nice. So, oyster sauce. I have, a, like, a mushroom, because a vegetarian one here. So, you can buy this as well. So, there's two different ones you can get. So, about two or three tablespoons of that. Okay. Give it a nice stir. So, so that I, can see the, I can see the beef is coming kind of, like, medium. You can still see the bit of redness to it, but uh, it's so beautiful. So that was a vegetarian oyster sauce made out of mushrooms? Yeah, 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 Great. out of mushrooms, yeah. So, um, it's quite nice, actually. Yeah. It's quite similar, because um, I use that quite a lot in, uh, in bowls. Is that more sesame oil you put in? 
I put a small bit of drop of sesame oil. I always throw a small drop of sesame oil at the very end. Yeah. Because I want that kind of shine on the dish itself. Okay. So that's where you get that lovely sheen off your sauce. So, see that? That's very nice now. So and I'm what just, just went in there? Was that your potato? That's my potato starch mixed yes. there with a bit of vegetable stock. Okay. And I just mix that in there so you get a bit of sauce. So I'm just going to serve this up now. So how fast was that? This is great. That was, yeah, really yeah. fast. And um, if you're going to do this at home, like, I love serving a big math with family serving and yeah. then just every dig in and have our own bowl. Mm -hmm. And um, I'm going to just finish it off a bit of chopped scallions on top. This will give it a bit of lovely zing. You're a bit out of breath. Are you all right? A bit of freshness. That was, know, yeah. the, that was crazy quick. I think. <laughs> Need a bit, yeah. That was really good. Good exercise, isn't it? <laughs> It did feel into like a workout at times. He was lashing into things. Look yeah. at him. He's going all over the place. So, now, what do you see now? So that is it? Isn't that nice? Absolutely delicious. I think this is actually one of my favourite dishes in the Chinese uh, in the Chinese takeaway. I always get this. Yeah. 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 That's I, what I, you get if you're getting a takeaway. Yeah, I get I get beef and black pepper sauce or black if bean sauce. If I was. If if Kwan Jae Chan was ordering off me a Chinese takeaway, I'd be I would I'd be sweating for I'm days. Not surprised, yeah. no. I wouldn't be. Are you? You're like the best in the country. Ah, thank you very much. He is. He is. You like in sweet the and sour, guys. though. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Kwan Jae once made sweet and sour <laughs> here. It's the best sweet and sour I've ever had in my entire life, and he hated every minute of making it. But he's <laughs> the best person in okay. the entire world for that. Okay. Thank you. Kwan Jae, that is so good. Will you have it up on your Instagram as well? Absolutely. Will, yeah. So. Yeah. And, and this is one of my favourite takeaway dishes. The, is it, yeah, the right, yeah. beef and it's a black quite nice. It's it is quite different than the black bean one, isn't it? It's yeah. so yeah. good. Absolutely. You can go to Six Eats as well as Kwan Jae just finishes that off. Uh, Klee texted in and she sent us in a picture of her pandemic puppy Toby. He's a ten-year-old. A rescue oh. sweetheart, and he made 2020 a whole lot better. Adopt and don't shop, says Clee. Look at him, isn't he gorgeous? He is. Catherine got in touch as well. She says, Here's my pandemic pooch, uh, Roxy, uh, rocking her polka dot bandana. Look at that gorgeous, know, gorgeous Roxy's thing. She's keen on the bandana. So beautiful, Connor. That's what your dog needs, a little bit of a mandana. And are you all finished there, Dekwon Jay? Absolutely, look at that. It looks beautiful. Amazing. Thank you, Kwan Enjoy. Jay. All right, uh, that's Great all we've got it. time for. A big thank you to all of our guests for joining us and, of course, to Kwan Jay Chan for the gorgeous beef Absolutely. Dish. Google Six Eats for the recipe. Ray, Com uh, Ray Foley, sorry, is keeping me company tomorrow. Until then, stay safe. We hope you have a lovely evening. Touch you soon.